Hello, 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 hello. I'm back doing another Primark haul again. So autumn is coming. Yes, it's my favourite season. I absolutely love all the colours, clothing that you get with autumn. I like the fact that you can layer things. I love jumpers, jumpers, yay! Um, so of course I head back to Primark to stock up on a little bit of autumn haul for you all to feast your eyes on. I've got some good stuff. Um, again, I went back to my favourite Primark, which is of course Westfield, um, and they've got some really good stuff in there for autumn this year. They've really stepped up their game. So shall we see what we got? My bag! So big! I also threw this bag away because I thought I forgot that I was going to do the Primark haul, emptied it all out, put it in my wardrobe, and I was like, I need the bag to do the haul. Hence the crumply crap mess that it's in now. But you know, it's what's inside that counts, so let's see what we have. Okay, the first thing that I bought isn't actually in the bag because it was a crumply mess, like the bag. Um, I'm kind of regretting buying it a little bit because literally you sit down in it and it's just like crease city from top to bottom. Um, so that's been out of the bag for a few days to hopefully try and knock some of the creases out of it. I've also ironed it, but it's done nothing. It's this shirt. I mean, I still like it. It's a long, kind of smocky type shirt. It hasn't got any buttons. It's just like a smock kind of all the way down. And it has a little tie up bit at the back, which I think is quite cute. I think when um, I bought it on the hanger, it was actually at the front, but I'm really liking this way of wearing kind of tops and cardigans with the cord kind of tied around the back. So it looks a little bit more kind of, I want to say 80s, kind of a bit retro and quite cute. So I like that. Um, it's got these kind of, buckle type things that if you look inside somewhere there you can kind of my mum done it for me I'm really crap at doing stuff like this you can kind of tie it in and make it look quite cute it looks quite good um this was I've already took the label out of it because I've already worn it it was I want to say 10 pounds I think it was 10 pounds between 10 and 12 um and it comes in loads of colors I think khaki navy to name a few but I really like this colour at the moment this kind of rusty colour I think it kind of is definition of autumn for me last year I was very into burgundies so this is my go-to colour this year I really like this so I'll be wearing this a lot even though it's a creasy son of a gun okay so the next thing that I brought it was some shoes that I've already worn I've worn everything I'm really sorry I should have filmed this a lot sooner um, it's just a simple pair of leopard print pumps. Um, I love, I've got so many of these because they're so easy to buy because they were, these were four pounds I think. They're so easily and cheap to buy so you can just stock up on loads of them and I think they look quite cute with like the shirt that I showed previously with a pair of leggings. It's quite a simple effortless outfit that look really nice together and I think leopard print really goes with a lot of the autumn kind of colours so kind of it goes with a lot of like the burgundies the porridge colours emerald all my kind of favourite colours for autumn they go really well with that so they went in my basket oh so much crease so much crease i really am sorry about this guys as well because this one has a stain on it i really should have washed it i'm not very well kept but hopefully you won't notice i shouldn't have told you should i but oh well um this is my favourite thing that i bought for the from the haul of this kind um, it is a long you can't really tell from this um, maybe I should try it on and then you can see um, it's a long floor length khaki waterfall I want to say that's what that is waterfall kind of collar um, dust coat um, which I love it's a really kind of nice effortless throw on kind of thing it really jazzes up just like a simple black outfit it looks really nice it looks really smart it also looks quite nice when you kind of casual it down with jeans it looks good with both I like both um, this was 20 pounds so it's a little bit more pricey than your average Primark buy um, it also come in black but um, I'm not really a big fan of kind of like all black so I thought the khaki would break it up quite nicely so I had to get that I really liked that this is really awful I'm really sorry guys everything's really creased so the next thing was this it's just a mustard kind of jumper with a little shirt collar detail it also has it at the bottom in the kind of like pulled out kind of casual style um, it has a zip on the back and I really love this colour, I love this colour at this 
end of winter last year. It's not really a summery colour, so you can't really style this too well in the summer. So I'm really glad that it's back this year. Um, I think I bought a top in this kind of colour in my previous haul, um, and it's kind of made of the same kind of, not woolly, I don't want to say woolly, kind of like sweatshirt material. Um, but I really like the fact that it's not actually a proper shirt. So if you look at the back, there's actually nothing at the back it's just the bit at the front and the collar and I like kind of doing this style and I've kind of done it with actual separate jumpers and shirts and it's just been a nightmare where the shirt's going up and you're pulling it down and it's all all over the place so this is really handy for some someone like me who can't cope with life and outfit choices um, because it looks like the shirt is under it but it's actually not so that is really good for me um, this one was £12 I want to say I think it was £12 I should really check these things um, and yeah, I thought that was really worth the money. I mean, it's quite good um, quality, it's quite thick, so I think this will see me through into the winter months, which will be good. Okay, so seeing as autumn and winter is coming, I thought that I would pro probably be wise to stock up on cardigans and sweatshirts and jumpers and all that kind of good stuff. So I picked this, a long charcoal grey um, floor length like the khaki coat cardigan and it has another one of those ties like the shirt that I've kind of tied at the back if you can see that there it looks a lot better on than it is just me just throwing it in your face like this um this was 12 pounds and it also come in black but again I like kind of having the what I would call like neutral colors so like khaki gray khaki and gray I like having those kind of colors opposed to picking the black options I don't like being too kind of blocked in black I don't think it really suits me so I thought the grey would be a perfect choice did I say this was £12? well there you go you can have it again this was £12 the next thing was this um, and it's inside out it's always good oh, yeah. this isn't very good guys I'm really sorry here we go it wasn't inside out I've just turned it inside out Good one, okay. Hooray, we've done it. Okay, this is, I saw this on um, a vlog, I think it was Jen Valentine, I wanna say Jen Valentine, um, and she put it on her vlog and I was like, oh my God, that can't be from Primark, it's amazing. So I went to try and find it. Um, my first port of call, I think, was the Oxford Street one, and I couldn't find it anywhere, it was a lost cause. Um, I then went to my local one, which is in Hertfordshire, and again, there was nothing. So I went back to my old faithful, which is Westfield, and I found it there, and it come in black, and it come in white. And to be honest, I think the white was a little bit more kind of like spring-summer, and I thought I could kind of carry the black one into the winter. Well, we'll see how cold it gets. Um, it's a long mesh top with a little crop top under it you can see there you can see the kind of change it's kind of meshy down there and you can see the top there and it has the split sides like that which I love I really love this style at the moment because it's really kind of I really like wearing leggings and you can't really wear short tops with leggings it just doesn't really it's not really the most flattering of looks so I quite like the fact that you could it's a long top but it there's kind of some shortness to it but it kind of hides like all the bits that you don't really want to be seen in leggings it's not really it's not good so this was really really good to find um this was 10 pounds and again i thought that was totally worth the money it's although it's mesh you can feel that it's quite good like it feels it's not going to kind of ladder or capture anything so i'm really glad about that so i can't wait to team that with some maybe tartan leggings into the winter and autumn months i think that would look quite nice so i'm really excited about that now, I wasn't too sure about this, um, I bought a couple of these tops in this style and I'm kind of, I don't know, I like the style of them but I'm not entirely sure about the cut of them, so that's what you want to call it. This is a stripy, rusty and black top but it's an off the shoulder top, you can see there, so it won't go up like that, I have tried, it doesn't, it doesn't stay up, so it's fully off the shoulders, um, I don't know, I'm not sure how sold I am on this. Um, I'm not really sure what to team it with or anything. Um, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research into that. But I liked the I like the stripes and I like the colour so that was what sold me on that front. But I'm not entirely sure about this shoulder thing. I don't know. How do you wear this? I don't know. This was six pounds so again I didn't really mind buying it because it was quite affordable. Um, but yeah I'm not 
Well, I'm not too sure about that, we'll have to see. So the next thing that I bought, I was looking for some of these um, quite a lot and the style that I bought from New Look, they're not selling anymore so I was a little bit gutted. I ruined my last pair at download in the mud, they were just not fixable at all. So I thought, oh god, when am I going to get some? They were literally like my go-to boots last year. I found some in Primark, I'm a little bit iffy about the material that they're made of, but what are you going to do? They're the only ones that I found, so I thought I'm going to pick them up. They are some Chelsea boots, from Chelsea. The only thing is, is they're made of suede, whereas the ones last year were made of kind of, like, just fake leather, um, so they're obviously a lot more durable, um, what with the rain and if we get snow this year we probably will, who knows, but definitely rain. Um, and they last me all year, I pretty much wore them religiously all through autumn and winter and they lasted really well but I'm not really sure about this because they're made of that kind of suede material so I don't know, I'm going to have to be very picky with when I wear them, definitely not when it's raining because it will probably just ruin them. Um, these were uh, £8 so again if I do ruin them I could get some more maybe but we'll see they might stand the test of time we'll see and I'll let you know about that okay so the penultimate thing that I bought was another pair of pumps 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 um again in the kind of like they're not really showing up how they should show up they look more red in this light but they are rust my favorite color um again these were four pounds these are a new item that they've bought into um Primark I thought these were wide fit no, they're not white fit. Um, a kind of new colour they've worn to Primark. They seem to have a lot of this stuff, so I'm really pleased about that because I really like this colour. Um, you can get a lot of their shoes in white fit now, which I actually thought I'd picked up, but I haven't. Um, they're a little bit better for shoes like this that are a little bit more narrow and smaller, I would say. Um, so hopefully these fit. I didn't try them on, but I can always take them back. It's fine. Okay, so the last thing that I bought, so the best to last, um, are some pyjamas. Now, you say, hmm, it's not really the most interesting thing, but these are, these are amazing. Um, I wouldn't actually class them as pyjamas, to me they're more a pant and pyjama top set. Um, shall I show you? Let's show you. Good morning, mermaid. Ah. Wandering free. Wish I could be part of that world. I shouldn't sing, maybe I shouldn't sing. And these are the shorts. Really? Really? They're pants, but it's fine. Um, I'll probably end up just wearing this top with my little mermaid pyjama bottoms and I'll probably just end up using these as underwear because they are not shorts. Um, these were six pounds um, and they had a lot of other characters there, a lot of Disney characters I think they had. They had Cinderella. I want to say they had Cinderella. They definitely had Bambi, and I think they had Winnie the Pooh, but I'm not 100%. But um, they have a lot of mermaid stuff there at the moment, so if you're a Disney fanatic, especially Ariel, like me, then get down to Primark and stock up, because they have a lot, and I can't imagine it's going to be there very long, because it's quite popular. Okay, so that's the end of my Primark haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed buying all the stuff because it's my favourite season um, and I will see you all again soon with another video.